Good morning, everyone. It's Science Friday at Lockerly, and today Greg Eilers is going to teach us about oak trees. Take it away, Greg. All right, so today we're going to look at some of the really common oaks for our area. One of the ones I like to talk about first off is the willow oak, and it's called a willow oak because the leaves have a similar shape to a willow tree's leaves. But as you can tell, these trees get very large, very fast. A lot of shade trees in yards and around cities will be the willow. They're very strong nice shape good shade just a basic willow tree not much to say about the leaves other than they look like a willow we're going to look at some other ones in just a moment so our next tree we're going to be looking at is a water oak it bark wise size wise shape wise looks very similar to the willow oak the um leaves are very different however find one that looks mostly they're going to be shaped like this the way i like to remember is it looks kind of like a drop of water um real simple leaf now when you're looking at these they do get big and they're in a lot of yards but if you look up you'll see that this one has just recently broken a very large limb out water oaks are always doing that they like to break limbs um, they get really heavy and the tree just can't support them so they end up breaking so that's about it for the water so here we have a white oak the white oaks, um, one of the things that a lot of people notice first off are their bark is very unique. They almost peel up in sheets underneath. You can see my hand going underneath. Now this time of year, some of them peel off a little bit, but it's very easy to identify with the leaf because it's very lobed, has very, this is a much a more standard shape. That's about how it's going to look at any size. See the big deep lobes. Also they're rounded on the ends. That's gonna be key for separating it out from some of the other oaks. So here we have the Southern Red Oak, the great stately tree we have here at Lockerly right as you come in the entrance. We have um, some all right leaves here, but they're usually really high up. So we have basically really pointed leaves. They're low, but they have bristles on the tip. And they're very nicely pointed. Easy. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's a little yeah. bristle there. Yeah. Um, that's one of the easy ways to identify the southern red. Um, there are other oak trees that have it, but if you're just looking at the common ones, this one's really very common. This one fortunately has some leaves low enough to reach. A lot of times you'll see them. They. As the summer goes on and it heats up, they get pretty beat up looking, but they're very pretty trees, gorgeous trees, great shade trees, and they get rather large. So I've gotten together some of the leaves so that you can see them kind of compared next to each other. Here we have the willow oak, the water oak is next, then the white oak, and now the Southern Red Oak. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you, Greg.